Well, my next report tonight is about something you may never have heard of, unless that is you're a hardcore vapor or one of the estimated one million Utahns who suffer from chronic pain. Kratom, it's a tree. Its leaves are used to treat everything from a cough to chronic pain. It's also used recreationally to get high. Whether it's a miracle medicine or a dangerous drug, one Utah lawmaker says he wants Utah to be the first state in America to regulate it. Kratom is a nutritional supplement. It's a, an herbal remedy. It's a, it's a plant. For someone who claims... <laughs> I, look, I don't, I don't use Kratom. Senator Curtis Bramble of Provo knows a lot about the herb that's all the rage at smoke shops and vaping lounges across America and here in Utah. And they grind it up into a powder, they put it in water, they make kind of a tea out of it, they put it in capsules. They also mix Kratom with other substances to heighten the high or just give it a flavor. And that is a problem. If you take Kratom and you mix it with other compounds, it can have adverse effects. It can be dangerous. Bramble says he didn't know that until he was approached by manufacturers who say Kratom is getting a bad rap. They said, look, we're being attacked on all fronts. We believe there should be a responsible regulatory structure around the, the manufacture and sale of our product. He floated this bill. The Kratom Consumer Protection Act. And he says he was flooded with emails from constituents, not vapors who smoke the stuff, but chronic pain sufferers who treat themselves with it. Their passion for this um, herb is uh, a, a surprise, frankly. All right, we took a good close look at the bill. Here's what it does. It would prohibit a dealer from preparing, packaging, distributing, or selling Kratom with a non-Kratom substance. That's the trick. You can't cut it or spike it. The bill would also require proof it's pure. Senate Bill 58 starts in Senator Bramble's committee. He's, uh, there is no opposition to it, he's saying, yet. Emily?